Hi, I'm Fran with Stampendous and I have a wonderful tip for you that you're going to love about using embossing powders. So we're using our fun butterflies and the fact that they have the dyes to go with them is helpful with what I'm going to show you. So to get started, um, I'll say that the wafer dies are able to cut through a thinner chipboard. So I've been able to cut a shape that matches my stamp and I'm using, believe it or not, a pancake griddle to do all my melting. This gives me the advantage of the heat coming from underneath and I'll start with some of our chunky clear embossing powder and I go through quite a bit of it so it's nice to have the larger jar and I'm going to sprinkle it all across the butterfly including over the edges and we're just going to cover it and it's going to puddle around all the edges. And so while this one is melting, it doesn't take very long, I'm going to cover it with a clear lid which just speeds up some of the melting time. And I've got another one here staged and ready. And once it's completely melted, it looks a bit darker. But now watch, when I come back and use some other powders, I can use any kind of powders now and I'm starting with this pearluster one called Moonstone and you can see how quickly it melts and the heat from underneath means it's hands-free. I can sprinkle all these colors. So let's add this Twilight, which is another embossing powder mix with some beautiful blues and sparkly colors and you can see how quickly it's melting. I've got the heat setting at about 300 and so now you can also mix anything else into it you want. This is the Lux mix and it's mica and glitter and we're just going to splash it all around through the middle and it all just melts in. So now that I can see it's all melted, the edges are a little bit hard to see. So one little trick here, before I take it off the heat, I just slide it around and this kind of moves it out of the puddle and cleans the edges a little bit. And I'm going to lift both layers with my spatula, get it over here, and I've got my stamp stamped ahead and I'm going to press it in and it has to slide down in when the embossing powders are molten. I can feel it kind of sink in. And this won't hurt your rubber stamps or even our clear stamps. And sometimes it releases right away. And other times if it doesn't come out quickly, just let it cool a little bit and then it'll pop right out. So we're going to let it just sit there a minute while I show you a couple other ones and then it'll be ready to come out. So over here, you can see I did another shape one with all the gold colors and you really get a beautiful look to it. Here was another large one with the bold yellows and the blacks. We also had some nice um, cut shapes from clear scraps and I did all these fun little hearts and again you can just keep melting all the different colors and shapes and puddles into it and here were some other uh, fun little uh, scenic ones. If you really want to go crazy you can do an awful lot with it. And so let's see over here now this should be cooled so I can lift it now and we'll see if it's ready to pop out. Okay there it is all sparkly and while it's warm it's very easy to remove these other little bits around the edges. You can clean a little bit off like that and there you have a beautiful shiny butterfly. Mm -hmm. Okay and then let me just show you one favorite one here. This one I did an entire little beach scene and it's all using the same embossing powders on my pancake griddle.